Welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers, from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother. Today's topic is Courage, Part 4, from the Mother. As soon as you enter the Rajasic nature, you like effort. And at least the one advantage of Rajasic people is that they are courageous, whereas Tamasic people are cowards. There are people who... I have known people who were physically very courageous and were very, very cowardly morally because men are made of different parts. Their physical being can be active and courageous and their moral being cowardly. I have known the opposite also. I have known people who were inwardly very courageous and externally they were terrible cowards. But these have at least the advantage of having an inner will and even when they tremble they compel themselves. Once I was asked a question, a psychological question. It was put to me by a man who used to deal in wild animals. He had a menagerie and he used to buy wild animals everywhere in all countries where they are caught in order to sell them again on the European market. He was an Austrian, I think. He had come to Paris and he said to me, I have to deal with two kinds of tamers. I would like to know very much which of the two is more courageous. There are those who love animals very much. They love them so much that they enter the cage without the least idea that it could prove dangerous as a friend enters a friend's house. And they make them work, teach them how to do things, make them work without the slightest fear. I knew some who did not even have a whip in their hands. They went in and spoke with such friendliness to their animals that all went off well. This did not prevent their being eaten up one day, but still, this is one kind. The other sort are those who are so afraid before entering that they tremble, you know, they become sick from that usually, but they make an effort. They make a considerable moral effort and without showing any fear, they enter and make the animals work. Then he told me, I have heard two opinions. Some say that it is much more courageous to overcome fear than not to have any fear. Here's the problem. So which of the two is truly courageous? There is perhaps a third kind which is truly courageous, still more courageous than either of the two. It is the one who is perfectly aware of the danger, who knows very well that one can't trust these animals. The day they are in a particularly excited state, they can very well jump on you treacherously but that's all the same to them. They go there for the joy of the work to be done, without questioning whether there will be an accident or not, and in full quietude of mind, with all the necessary force and required consciousness in the body. This indeed was the case of that man himself. He had so terrific a will that without a whip 
simply by the persistence of his will, he made them do all that he wanted. But he knew very well that it was a dangerous profession. He had no illusions about it. He told me that he had learned this work with a cat. A cat 